Welcome to my next video. This one we're going to go over the new products that we have gotten in our store. And we're going to focus on embellishments today. Um, I have a showcase of my enamel dots. The new iridescent line that came in as well as the holographic line that we do carry also. Alright, the first things we're going to look at is our enamel dots. We're going to start with the cherry blossom enamel dots. Um, they are a nice mixture of a pink, purple, and a clear frosted. They are super shiny on the top, matte on the bottom. You can see there's little rays in the top. Um, they measure about one eighth of an inch. Next we're going to look at my hot coral pearl striped enamel dots. Um, this is one of the colors in this technique. Um, it has a pearl coral mixture. Um, we also have it in a blue as well as a prickly pear. Um, it has a flat bottom um, as well as a shiny top. And you can really see the shine. Next are my clear frosted enamel dots. Um, these are really interesting. They are frosted, so they've got an icy appearance. They are, of course, matte on the bottom, shiny on top. They are fantastic. You can even paint them if you want. Um, some people use enamel paints to cover them. But you can see how opaque they are. Next one is my neon orange enamel dots. I have other colors in the neon field, including a blue, a pink, and I believe a yellow and green. Um, they have the same shine as the regular dots, but they are also very bright. Next is our sky blue enamel dots. They are one of our stripe mixtures. Um, I have these in other stripes too, available online. Um, but you can see the contrast between the white and the color, and they still have that same candy shine on the top and matte on the bottom. Next is the Parrot Green. This is part of my solid line. We have a lot of the colors in the solid line. This is just one of them. Um, I'm just showcasing certain things because I don't want to go through all of them. But you see that candy shine. All of my dots have that candy shine to them. They're really nice. This is an interesting mixture we have in our stripe line. I just wanted to showcase it because it's very pretty. It is kind of an opaque green with a blue stripe. Um, they're called the Ocean Stripe, which is really fun. All these beads are made with pearl beads melted, so they're very fun. Um, this one is from my Neon Glow Mix. Um, what's fun is they come in this opaque color, but wait till the lights turn out. It's so fun. They are going to glow. Um, fun for those kids cards as well as other things. Next we're going to go into the iridescent line of my sequence. I'm going to start with my iridescent feather sequence. They are very fun emboss feather textured sequin. I have them in multiple colors as well as foils. They have a little bit of a curl to their edges but yet they are a flat sequin. And I have, of course, you can see some of the iridescence, how it shines. That one's red, but it has this almost green iridescence. We also have in like a green with a peach iridescence, as well as whites with pink. yellows with oranges and greens. Next is my iridescent butterflies. These are the large variety. They do have two holes in the center um, where you could thread them thread through it as well as an embossed pattern on the top. And we have multiple colors in that. I also have these in a medium. are some fun sequins. These are my iridescent 3D flower sequins. They have this 
really fun 3D effect going on where they, their petals are raised. Um, so they're not a flat flower. They do have a hole in the center. They are really cute on cars. I've done some lines with them on the cars and they actually sit actually pretty well. Um, I usually use my Ranger Multimedia with them so it holds them pretty well. And you can see there's multiple colors in them and you can see those iridescent shine in them. There's oranges, greens, pinks, blues in them, purples. It's just, they're beautiful. iridescent small flower sequins. They are a foil flower. Um, they've got an embossed texture to them so they're raised kind of in the center of each petal. These also stick very well to cards. And you can see we have multiple colors in those. I also have these in plain foils too such as gold and silver. But these are the iridescent ones. They're so much prettier in person than they are in a picture. That's why I decided to do this video. Because I feel like sometimes the iridescence kind of, and the holographics kind of lose their show in picture. Next is my iridescent cup flower. These are a large cup flower. They are beautiful. They shine very well. Um, sometimes it can be tricky to stick to things, but if you use the right glue, like I use usually the Ranger Multimedium for my sequins, it's a very good glue. I have seen people also use the new Tim Holtz Collage Medium, and that seems to hold them down really good too. But look at those iridescent colors, and you can see the raised back, so it kind of cups. Next, I want to show you the rainbow one, mini ones. They are smaller than the ones you just saw. They are super micro, but it doesn't make them any less adorable. They have that same cupped design, but they also, like I said, are smaller and they're iridescent. These I only sell in the rainbow pack because they are so small, it's so hard to separate by color. Um, but they're really fun. And you can see the hot pink, the blues, the purples that come in them. And I believe they're coming in packs of, I believe, 50. These are very interesting also. These are called disc flowers. They have little circular discs on the petals. They have one hole in the center. They are also iridescent. And these I have in blues, golds, pinks, multiple colors also on site. I believe they are coming in packs of six. see that fun iridescent shine in these. And some of them are really more obvious that they're iridescent colors, of course. These are my small flower sequins. They are a flat sequin with a kind of ruffled petal. They have a hole in the center. And of course, like the rest of this line, they are iridescent. remember exactly how many you get in a pack, but you do get a good amount. I believe it's 12.
next is going to be my rainbow mini flower sequins. They are also one that I kept in a rainbow pack. Um, they are a small little circular edge flat flower. They come in all kinds of very pretty iridescent colors also. Some of my kits I did keep in rainbow color because I thought it's fun to have all these colors. Next is my iridescent maple leaf. They are large maple leaves with two holes. They come in a blue, a yellow, which is kind of like a yellow green tint. Um, then you have the real green. It's such an orange copper. Ink. And as you can see, the veins are embossed on it. It's very pretty. Also, in the uh, leaves are a mini leaf. These are very tiny, two hold sequins. I kept these also in a rainbow pack. I feel that because of their smallness, they're better in multicolors. But you can see the cool veining on them, they are just so pretty. There's a variety of different shades, colors, and iridescence in them. Next in the leaf family is also this pointed leaf. It is embossed just like the others, and of course it comes in iridescence just like the other ones did. Um, they are quite large, they have two holes. I also have these in a smaller version too in foils as well as holographics. Um, they are fun to put for some texture in a flower card or even just for a fall card. Also in the iridescent family, I have these small foil butterflies. Um, these are fantastic. Like this first one is clear. You can see it's absolutely clear. It has a pink sheen to it. They are flat. They have two holes in them. And there's also other colors. I mean, there's blues, pinks, purples, yellows. I have them gold and silver foils. They are just plain fun. They're cute for little embellishments on your Mother's Day cards, Easter cards, spring cards, you name it. Wherever you want to stick a butterfly. They're just the right size. They're not too big and they're not too small. Also available are my iridescent small shells. These shells are kind of raised in the center, like a shell should be. They have two holes on the bottom. They come in various colors and shades. Some of them show the iridescent a little more than the other. Um, like we have a gold one that has green in it. That is absolutely gorgeous, as well as copper ones are green. They are perfect for seashells on cards. These are an interesting sequin. These are called straw hat sequins, and the reason why is because they look like a little straw hat. They have two holes on either side. And of course, they have that raised top. And we have those also in various colors, including pinks, blues, whites, pearls. 
they are just so much fun. These I did find, um, usually you need to glue them on the sides if you put them on a card versus the center. Um, or you can even flip them upside down and glue them with the inside popping up. Now these are a fun design. I saw these and said, why not? These are so cool. I call these my triple blade petal. Um, they have three little petals that stick out like a blade. My son likes to call them the fidget spinner sequence because they almost look like a fidget spinner to him. But they are so fun and they are iridescent. These two you would want to glue more on the sides, not in the center. This is going to be my rainbow embossed circles. These are a beautiful little rainbow collection of these circles. They have a hole in the center and they're embossed on the edges. And of course they're part of the iridescent line just like the rest of this section. You may have seen me use this in the last video. These are the ones I use on my cards with the December kit. Um, like I said, they are very beautiful. They shine so nicely. They have almost an exotic look to them when they're put on a card. And the colors are just a wide variety. You got reds, blues, yellows, pinks, purples, turquoises. They're just so pretty. One, this last group that I have for the iridescent line that I'm going to show today is my large shells. That's right, these are larger than the other ones, but they have the same iridescent to them. They come in pinks, oranges, reds, blues, purples, and yellows. And now I'm going to go into the holographic sequins. These are also a beautiful choice for cards. They shine and sparkle and glitter. Um, so let's start. The first ones we're going to show these are going to be my holographic shells. And these are the large shells just like the previous ones in the iridescent. Um, they're about the same size. As you see they come in pinks, blues, greens, reds, teals and a purple. Most of my holographic ones will actually come in these colors. Next is my holographic large butterfly sequins. These are like the ones also in the iridescent. They have the same embossing, um, two holes. And, but these have that extra glitter. And when I say glitter, they glitter. So we have silver, pink, green, gold, teal, purple, pink, and blue in these. And they are just so fun. And these would also look good on cards as well as that. Um, next will be my slotted holographic large butterflies. They have those slots in it which is fantastic for a thin ribbon. Um, so you can line them up on a ribbon, you can put a bow through them and make it have that dimension. They're kind of cool with that because I was like when I saw those I said wait a minute. 
about something a little different than just having tiny little holes. And they come in the same color family as the other ones. They have silver, gold, pink, red, teal, green, blue. And they are just so much fun. Next will be my holographic small butterflies. Like the other ones, these are the same size, but they have that cute little sparkle like all the holographics. So, so far we've seen the silver, the red, the pink, I mean, the gold, the blue, the teal, and the green. They're gorgeous, as you see. And here are the holographic feather sequins. Got purple, gold, and silver. Got green, blue, teal, and pink in these. The nice thing about holographic sequins is that you get that glitter without the mess. I mean, everybody knows how messy glitter is. I mean, to put glitter on something, you know there's going to be a mess. But these give you that sparkle without the mess. So if you have a card that you don't want shedding, these are perfect. Next is the holographic leaf stem. These are different than just the basic leaves. They have a set of three, which is really good for underneath like a rose design um, or flower. And it gives that embossed leaf look. And those came in the same color family as all the rest of the holographic. We have a silver, gold, purple, blue, teal, green, red, uh, silver, and gold. Now I call these a maple leaf. I don't know if they're actually a maple leaf, but I call them my holographic maple leaf because they have that same kind of pointed edges as a maple leaf. Whether they actually are, I don't know, but who knows. But these also are very gorgeous. They got that wonderful texture to them. The veins are all embossed. They have the same colors as all the rest, gold, silver, red, blue, green, teal, purple, and pink. Next is going to be my holographic fan sequence. These have a little lace intro to them. They're kind of neat for that purposes. So they're nice for like a little lacy edge on a card or a page. They have that same holographicness to them, same colors as the previous. Um, but they're just neat because they have all this decoration to them. Next are the fancy fan sequins. These have a little rough to them. It's kind of cool. They're raised. They kind of have a curve. And they have three holes. They have gold, silver, green, pink, teal, blue, red, and purple. And these. They're really fun. They almost look like a seashell, but they're not. You can even hang them the way I'm holding it and put some little dangly pieces to it. It's just really fun. These are my small fan sequins. They're a little smaller than my other fans, but they have almost like a pleated look without the pleats. They're actually really flat. Um, and these come in the same color family, the silver, gold, pink, teal, green, red, blue, and purple. I don't think I have the red in this picture. Mm -hmm. 
Next are my holographic snowflake sequins. These look like they're a flower, but inside is embossed a snowflake, as you can see. I mean, you could still use these as a flower. You could use these on a Christmas card. Um, they're just really fun. They look like a snowflake and a f they look like a ruffled flower far away. Um, and they come in the same color families. Um, we have red, gold, silver, green, pink, purple, blue, and teal. Um, but they're really fun. These are going to be my next one. These are the small embossed flowers. They have a little embossing on the petals. As you can see, you can see in the back better than in the front. And here we get red, pink. They have a hole in the center, just like most sequins. They're a cute little delicate flower in the holographic. Next are my holographic medium flowers. These have beautiful embossed petals. And they're raised in the center. And we have, of course, the silver, the green, the blue, the teal, the green, the purple, the red, and the pink. Now I'm going to go into our larger holographic flowers. First one is going to be the Starburst. They are huge. I mean, they take a lot of dimension. And they have these little dot pattern inside, which is like almost like the center of the flower. And of course we have the same colors available in these. As you see, they're flat. Absolutely flat, but they're huge. Another huge variation we have are these huge holographic large flowers. The petals are embossed, just like the medium flower, but they are large. They are flat, except for those petals. And they come in the gold, silver, purple, pink, blue, teal, gold, red, green, and silver. Don't mind the jingles behind me. My dog seems to be wanting to help me today. Alright, and next is my holographic large star sequence. These have a hole in the top. Um, they would be nice for stringing if you want to put them in the strung and they line on a card. Um, they come the same colors. Pink, blue, green, teal, silver, gold, red, and purple. They just sparkle so beautifully. Next are my are not really a holographic line. They are more of a foil. These are my small foil stars. Now these have no holes in them, so they are perfect for making a card. You can't really do much with them, but they do add some beautiful dimension. They're also good for shaker cards. 
just like them. I also have them in a gold foil. And as you see, they shine so pretty. They are gorgeous on a card. They don't need any embellishment. They are the embellishment themselves. And here are another one of the holographic line. These are my embossed mandala. They are very pretty. They got embossing in the middle. They're almost cupped in the middle, but only slightly. And they have that almost lacy look to the black circle, or the circle. And of course, there is a hole in the center, but it just adds to the dimension. These are my small starbursts. I mean, you saw the big one. Now look at the small. It is so sweet and tiny compared to that large one. But they are just as extraordinary. They have one center hole in the middle. And they come in the same family of colors as all the other holographic. But look at them sparkle. These are very similar to my rainbow embossed circles. These are larger though, and they are a holographic. They almost have a ripple to them, which is so much different than the other ones. The other ones were totally flat, but these almost have a curl to them. And they come in the first same family of colors as all the holographic. Look at how pretty they sparkle. And I hope that this video inspired you to look at our line of sequins. Um, we have quite a variety available. We have single packs with single colors as well as the rainbow packs. Um, various numbers, some starting at 2 in a pack, 250 in a pack. Um, so check them out on the site. Thanks for watching my video and like always, make sure to like and subscribe.